What's up everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're even remotely into tech or AI, you've probably heard the buzz about OpenAI's latest release. The O1 preview models, code named Strawberry, these things have been blowing up the internet, and for good reason. Remember all that hype leading up to the release? Yeah, Sam Altman himself, the CEO of OpenAI even tweeted, no more patience Jimmy, a couple hours before the release, clearly referencing Jimmy Apples, the guy who's become famous for leaking OpenAI news. Well, the wait is finally over, and guys, let me tell you, these models are seriously next level. Like, straight out of sci-fi, next level. OpenAI's been putting these models through their paces, testing them on everything you can imagine. And the results? Mind-blowing. These things are acing standardized tests, like actually scoring in the top percentile for the U.S. Math Olympiad, crushing coding challenges on code forces, and even going head-to-head -head with actual PhDs on some insanely difficult science questions and coming out on top. But here's the real kicker. What's got everyone so excited about O1 isn't just how smart it is, but how it thinks. This is where things get really, really interesting, because with O1, OpenAI is really focusing on this concept of chain of thought reasoning. What does that mean? It means these models aren't just crunching numbers and spitting out answers, they're actually breaking problems down, step by step, kind of like how you and I would think through a problem, only at warp speed. Now, you might be wondering, if these models are so powerful, what can they actually do in the real world? Well, get this, in just the past couple of days, people have already been using O1 to build some crazy cool apps. We're talking fully functional apps built in minutes, not hours, not days, but minutes. First up, we have AK, who built a chess game with the help of OpenAI O1, Replit Agent, and Gradio. Look at that. It's a simple interface, but it works flawlessly, and imagine the possibilities if this was expanded on, with different skill levels, openings, even playing styles. We could have an AI chess tutor that can adapt to any player, from beginner to grandmaster. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Next, we've got Amar, who used OpenAI 01 and Cursor Composer to whip up an iOS weather app in just 10 minutes. Look at how quickly he's able to put together the layout, fetch data from a weather API, even add animations. This is insane. What would normally take days or weeks is now happening in minutes. Then, there's Hater, who went and built a fully functional Flappy Bird game using OpenAI01, and you're not going to believe how long it took him. Three to four minutes. Look at that, classic Flappy Bird, just like we all remember it, built with AI, and in just a few minutes. The game logic, the graphics, everything. This could revolutionize game development, guys. Think about it, AI could take care of all the tedious coding, leaving developers free to focus on the creative stuff. Now, this next one is going to take you right back to the 80s, retro gaming style. We have Karina who created an AI asteroid game, complete with a classic, retro, sci-fi vibe, all thanks to OpenAI01. This is seriously cool. It's like stepping back in time. Only now the game was built by an AI in a fraction of the time it would have taken back then. And lastly, we've Mesut, who took things in a slightly different direction. He used Google AI's Notebook LLM and OpenAI's information to generate a whole podcast. All right, so you're curious about OpenAI's O1. Yeah, I've seen it in the headlines, but... But is it really a game changer? That's what I want to know. Well, you've come to the right place because today we're diving deep, deep into two articles straight from OpenAI themselves. One's called Learning to Reason with LLMs. That sounds promising, right? Sounds like it's going to be a tough read, honestly. It's pretty dense, but fascinating. Uh -uh. And then there's Introducing OpenAI 01. Which is giving me major marketing hype vibes just from the title. Definitely more of a sales pitch, but hey. Between the jargon and the glitz, there's got to be some real insights in there somewhere. Exactly. So, what's got your eyes so far? Well, this whole chain of thought approach they keep mentioning is like, they're trying to get O1 to think less like a machine, you know? Less like just pure calculation, more like oh. OS. Yeah. Like a human would think. But how do you even measure that? 
Yeah. How do you know if an AI is actually thinking or just really good at pretending? That it sounds super professional, right? It's wild. We've gone from AI writing blog posts and articles to AI creating full-blown audio content. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is crazy cool, but is it just a gimmick? I'm here to tell you, this is just the beginning. What we're seeing is a glimpse into the future of app development and content creation. What used to take weeks, months, even years can now be done in minutes, thanks to AI. This is a massive paradigm shift, and it's only going to get more incredible from here. Now, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about all this? Is OpenAI a one the real deal, or just another hype train? What kind of apps would you build with a tool like this? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech and AI content. And if you want to dive deeper into OpenAI 01, I've included links to all the resources in the description below. Until next time, stay curious, my friends.